Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, 2-Bit Crypto here. Now, it's a while since we've done a Jasmine video, so I thought I'd bring you the latest of what's going on with this. There's a lot of questions coming into my DMs about Jasmine. When's the Q4 lockup? What's going on with the token? Is it truly going back to $4? Well, we're going to break it all down for you in this video. So if you're bullish on Jasmine and you want to see more content, all you've got to do, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. We talk about cryptocurrency every single day right here, and we are so close to breaking 20,000 subscribers. With that being said, let's take a quick look at the old overall chart for jasmine now it's been on a bit of a moon mission up five and a half percent six three four three is the current price now we kind of covered jasmine back when it was kind of two six two seven and talked about what the potential of this coin had and ultimately what it was trying to solve and we kind of get a little bit further down the line and we truly see what they're about and equally there has been a lot of debate about whether they should release this second chain the stable coin aspect of it as well as much more partnerships come in but jasmine is looking pretty good right now and i know a lot of my community got involved with it and we're going to break down some of the stuff that we had so if you remember a while back they were talking about a second chain the utility chain that was going to come for jasmine now harrow the cfo over at jasmine said this earlier on in the week it says we will launch a full scale stable coin business as a third party prepaid payment method utilizing the blockchain with aplix by utilizing blockchain it will possibly be dramatically reduce costs while ensuring security and to aim for new market effects through the use of data together with aplix we will begin a stable coin business as a third prepaid payment method and i think this is important because ultimately what it's then going to do is give another avenue for jasmine to excel now remember what they're trying to solve data democratization which ultimately in the future will be a pivotal point in both blockchain technology and cryptocurrency and a lot of people kind of don't understand that this isn't necessarily going to be the big coin this year it isn't necessarily even going to be the big coin in 2024 but actually as we move into a much more digital era remember iot the internet of things everything connected by one thing will become so important your data and i've talked about this on a number of videos your data becomes incredibly important to businesses as well as marketeers to ultimately sell you things and, and that's the reality here that you become very important given everything we've all been through in the last couple of years jasmine coin is really setting itself up to be that cryptocurrency to be that blockchain technology that everybody is going to want to be a part of and what they're continuing to do as well which is good is building in the background we've seen massive partnerships canna labs as well as the um, laptop development that's coming out as well. So they really are making a difference. So much so we are starting to see further listings when it comes to Jasmine. So Jasmine Coin listing on TARS AI Hub. What does it mean? You can get extensive AI models with Jasmine tokens, allowing a utility that ultimately brings the basic utilities to Jasmine. And this again is important as it builds out. It allows more people to understand and see what it's all about. And at the same time, builds out the use case and usability of the Jasmine token. And finally, XT.com, looking like they're offering a staking potentially ready to list as well for XT.com in Japan. I think this, again, is good news. Now, remember, a lot of people talk about this as the Bitcoin of Japan. And ultimately, we are actually seeing a slight shift in the Japanese tax regime for long-term holdings of cryptocurrency. So people that hold Jasmine equally being poised to make a difference in that. We even know Binance has been out there. But it says here, under current tax code, Japan is one of the few countries that tax companies based on market value of the cryptocurrency holdings as of the end of the fiscal year to mark uh, this mark to market valuation approach however excludes self-issued coins while aimed at capital gains this rule has to be united consequences so again and i've talked about japan being kind of the forefront and will be a massive powerhouse in the world of cryptocurrency because of what they're doing and ultimately what they're trying to do and even when they talk about this extending deductible entertainment expenses prolongs a measure that allows smaller medium-sized enterprises to deduct up to 8 million yen annually for entertainment expenses this measure was currently set to expire in march 2024 and ultimately they're taxing foreign visitors on purchases so what they're trying to do is make it more viable to get involved ultimately making it beneficial to hold cryptocurrency we know that they're trying to do that as over in japan really kind of being the forefront binance obviously moved over there there's a debate whether coinbase are going to move over there or move back to there as well so again can only be a good news story when it comes to japan now everybody obviously is anticipating the q4 lockup when are we going to see this well 2024 was ultimately when this was depicted we thought we'd get it q3 of this year the reality is it's probably going to come the year after as people look to potentially move this now again when you go to harris twitter there is a ton of stuff going on with it equally a ton of stuff in terms of 
Microsoft integration and those partnerships with Canal Labs. You can see here through the Binance Square, ultimately partnering with Canal Labs for seamless blockchain technology. Again, getting ready for the future and what this does bring. And ultimately those SDK and mini games potentially come in as well on that second part of the Jasmine blockchain. So it can only be good news. And the Q4 lockup will come. Remember, financial institutions holding Jasmine coin. Now there has to be a utility for that. Otherwise there is no incentive and no point to do it. Institutions are not going to buy cryptocurrency just because they might be going up in value. They're going to want to be a use case. So whatever we get, even the smallest of partnerships can only be important. Now looking at the price, you can see some very nice movement recently on Jasmine coin on the four hour chart here. But what we are seeing in the short term is very bullish momentum and likewise in the long term. Now we've just flipped into a new day here in the UK. We're up about 1.5% on Jasmine. So we could be even retesting at the 6.4 range and onwards to those high ranges. And actually we're breaking local all-time highs from where we've been. We've got a very nice reverse signal here and we've absolutely just been on a moon mission right now. Longer term is looking very, very good as well. So what does it look like for Jasmine? What are we going to see? Well, I can certainly see a more, uh, certainly a bigger price movement as we begin to develop. And equally what this stable coin blockchain looks like could be very, very interesting for Jasmine. But as ever, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the second chain? Do you think it's a good idea or not? And equally, if you want to see me cover Jasmine content more, smash that like button. It does help out the channel and ultimately gets this trending on YouTube. So I would really appreciate your help. And as ever, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.